Hey collectors! Welcome back to my channel, Duncan the Collector. It's been a while, hasn't it? Wait a minute. It's been a whole month! Jinkies. Well, to compensate my long disappearance, today we'll be doing a double review. Today we'll be taking a look at the Mattel Jurassic World Dr. Alan Grant and Demetrodon pack and the Legacy Collection Dr. Sarah Harding and Stegosaurus pack. These both look awesome. I'm super excited to get them unboxed, but before we do, let's take a quick look at this awesome Legacy Collection box art. This looks amazing. It's clearly meant to look like the Fleetwood RV from the Lost World, and it's wonderful. Looking at the front, we have a Legacy Collection logo, a name, some handlebars, barred windows, wheels, a ladder, and some camel print. The left side has some lights, another handle, and some more barred windows. The right side has even more lights, a windshield, wipers, and a grill. The top of the box has some more barred windows, and finally the back of the box has some Lego mumbo jumbo, another Legacy Collection logo, fact zap stuff, and a diagram of the figures. This is an awesome box, but let's take a look at what's inside. Now that we have everything out of the box, these guys look great, but before we take a closer look, I wanted to showcase the back card for the box. It was pretty hard to see from before, but it's actually pretty cool. There's lots of great details like monitors, cabinets, books, a little lamp, and a chair. And from the windows, you can see a dark stormy night. That looks really great. Now, let's take a closer look at these figures. Now this is an awesome looking trio. Why don't we start with the Stegosaurus, since it's the only reused figure. The Stegosaurus looks pretty cool. She's primarily in this medium brown color, with some lighter brown details on her tummy. She has this lovely olive green pattern going from her head down to her tail. On her tail, we can see her Thegomizers. They are in a pretty nice beige color. Her plates are all cast in a darker brown plastic and have some really nice sculpting work to them. Although, it would be nice if the transition was a bit more subtle. Going to her head, her eyes are pretty simple, but really nice, and her beak is painted in a gray color. Her action is the same as the Jurassic World and Camp Cretaceous versions. When you push down this plate, her tail swings. Nothing too exciting, but a pretty fun action. Before I move on, let's take a quick look at her scan code. For this girl, you lift up one of the plates and it reveals the code. This is actually pretty cool, and like the action, it's nicely concealed. And there it is if you'd like it. Overall, this is a pretty nice figure, but I think I would like it a bit more if I didn't already have three Stegosaurus. But, she is growing on me as the idea of having a bigger herd is quite nice. Now, let's take a look at the baby Stegosaurus. Aw, isn't she so cute? I'm really liking these baby figures we've been getting lately, like Bumpy, the Brachiosaurus, the Nasutoceratops, and Beta. She has some fantastic scales and bumps. Her plates are tiny and round, and her thagomizers are very small and rounded, giving her a cute and friendly appearance. She has such an adorable face, with her chubby cheeks and big eyes. The paint on her is pretty good. She is cast in a darker green. She has this brown color on her plates, stomach, and face. Her eyes are fairly nice. They're black with a light dot. I think it would have been better if there was more gloss and if the eye was totally black. That way, the light reflects in any direction and not just in a set position. Her beak is painted in more of a beige color, and finally, her thagomizers are in a tan color. Before we go, let's take a look at her scan code for the Jurassic Facts app. Like her mom, her pull tab is on her back and occupies two plates. And there it is if you'd like it. Overall, this is such an adorable figure. Now, let's take a look at Sarah Harding. Sarah looks awesome. Her shoes have some really great details with lots of stitching and laces. 
Her pants all have some nice wrinkles and creases to them, and she has a nicely painted and sculpted belt. Like her pants, her shirt also has some nice wrinkles and creases to them as well, and her necklace looks really great. Her jacket also looks great with stitching, pockets, creases, and buttons. Her head sculpt is wonderful. Mattel have done a great job capturing Julianne Moore, even her hair. Sarah has one accessory, the camera that almost got her killed because she was taking pictures of the baby from two inches away. Remember, we're here to observe, not interfere. So put out that cigarette, Nick. Ugh. The camera looks great. It's really big and has some visible mechanical details. The lens is really nice looking. Its strap is kind of thick, but not too bad. Overall, this is a pretty nice figure and a really cool accessory. Now let's take a look at the Dimetrodon pack. Speaking of, let's start with the Dimetrodon. She looks pretty great. She has tons of scales, osteoderms as opposed to waraderms, creases, and scoots, and they all look fantastic. I love this dirty beige color she's cast in. Her sail is really nice with visible bones and this awesome pattern with a darker brown. The same brown is around her eyes and it looks really cool. Her eyes have some good gloss and a nice slit. Her teeth are painted good as well with nice separation and her mouth is nicely painted too. Now before we move on we'll take a quick look at our last scan code. For Dimetrodon it's a little segment on her sail and of course you pull it out and it reveals the scan code. And there it is if you'd like it. Overall, this is a really cool and creepy figure. And for our final figure, we have Alan Grant. He looks awesome. His shoes aren't super detailed with basically only the laces sculpted, but his pants make up for that. They're pretty cool with nice wrinkling and even back pockets. He also has a sculpted zipper and a very well done belt. It sure is pretty good with all the buttons and collar sculpted, but it would have been nice if it was either sculpted or painted to look like denim to be more movie accurate. His jacket is fantastic with wrinkles, lots of pockets, buttons, and a painted collar. His hat is pretty great, but I don't think it's worth dying for. His face is okay, but also doesn't really look anything like Sam Neill. I think it would have helped if his eyebrows were a bit darker and if his hair was more gray than white. His mouth is also a bit wide. It makes him look like he had a fart go wrong, but I guess he is getting a bit older. But otherwise, he looks fantastic and is one of my favorites of the Dominion wave. Alan comes with one accessory, that being this dinosaur skull and spinal cord. Wait a minute. I'd recognize that overbite from anywhere. That's Hasbro's blue. Rest in spaghetti, never forgetty. But the detail is really great on this, especially on the spine. Its jaw is very thin and small though, and its hinge joint is very low. It looks bizarre to say the least. Plus, it's pretty much impossible for Grant to hold it without falling over, which kind of sucks. But overall, it's a pretty neat accessory. Now here are my final thoughts. The Stegosaurus pack is mostly great. Sarah Harding is an amazing figure with an awesome camera accessory. The baby Stegosaurus is adorable and definitely one of my favorite figures. The adult Stegosaurus seems pretty unnecessary. It's just a repaint and an okay one at that. I feel like if the pack was just Sarah and the baby Stegosaurus, it would sell a lot more. Never mind the fact that this is a $75 set. I would recommend this, especially if you can find it cheaper, because in no world is this worth $75, except for Mattel and their recent trend of gouging diehard collectors. But it is pretty nice that we're moving into the lost world with the Legacy Collection. As for the Dimetrodon pack, I really like this one. I love the new Dimetrodon sculpt, and it's definitely one of my favorite of its repaints. Alan looks great, and is definitely one of the best figures of the Dominion Wave. The skull was a bit wonky, but it's a neat and different accessory. I would recommend this pack. I'm in love with everything included, and it may just be one of my favorites of the Human Dinosaur 2 packs, but we'll just have to see what comes next.
All right, I guess that's it for now. So if you've enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons. And if you didn't, hit the dislike and unsubscribe buttons. If you like toy photography or pictures of Cheddar the cat, Chia the dog, Daisy the dog, or our new member who came to us lost and hungry, Petey the budgie, named after the bird from Dumb and Dumber. If you'd like your collection to be featured in a video, message me in the comments down below or hit me up on Instagram. I hope you've enjoyed this video, thanks for watching, bye for now, and have fun collecting!